Oh, classy, 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 welcome classy. back to Anderton TV. Do you have no pedals on there? That was Apart no from that right, very little, last bit with no, the legs. A little bit of reverb, extra reverb on top of reverb. Right. It's like a little bit of reverb on top of the reverb. Nice. Because it's, uh, I had a spring reverb on top of the reverb. That's built in this amp here. So welcome back to Anderton <laughs> TV. <laughs> on top of the reverb, on top of the reverb, reverb on top of the reverb, reverb. Me and Pete here Hello. Uh, showing you a new amplifier from Victory. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm going to be probably biased uh, about how great these amplifiers are, but you know, or you know, look. And you so am I. Let your ears decide. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, about seven or eight years ago, uh, Martin Kidd designed uh, the Sheriff amplifier for Victory, mm -hmm. which has been a, a kind of a, a Marshall uh, voiced amplifier, and it's had a couple of different iterations over the yeah. years, with the latest iteration being m probably more versatile than yeah. a traditionalist might want, so multi-channel and about doing old Marshall sounds and new Marshall sounds, those kind of stuff. Yeah. You've historically used the Victory Amplifier based on a really clean amplifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I loved, I loved the the first iteration of the of the sheriff. I really, really loved that. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm more of a really easy, clean, simple type guy. I yeah. Want no fills, no double this and double that. Yeah. But, so, but and I think the journey, particularly you, but even both of us, has probably been on. In fact, I think judging by what other amp brands have brought out and been successful with over the last two or three mm. years, a lot of brands have been discovering or rediscovering this early British Marshall-y kind of sound where it is pretty clean, you yeah. know, uh, and then, but if you dig in, you can just get some hair and, yeah. and it's the digging in note that differentiates it from its sort of Fender sort of compatriot yeah, absolutely. type thing. Absolutely. Anyway, so long anyway. and the short of it is, is, is Pete, uh, said, you know, do you think if I talk to Martin, we could do something? Yeah. Uh, I was like, oh, but should we do one amp a bit like, more like that? Yeah, so go, I'm a, and, um, go and ask him, see what yeah. his schedule's like. So anyway, and this we is exciting. Because Deputy, um, Deputy, it's kind of like, it was originally like, was going to be a Deputy Sheriff, but then it was just like, actually, you know, it's got its own kind of vibe. So it's, let's just call yeah. it the Deputy. Yeah. And then you got the, the Sheriff, you got the Deputy, and you got the Copper. How they kind of go, right? That's how the entire sort of British got... police force here. <laughs> yeah. um, on the debit to your school. Editor. Yeah. Hey, before we go on, please like and subscribe. We have to remember to say all that stuff. And, and so that very, stuff. very simply, deputies only going to be available in this compact head. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of matching cabs, a, a 112 and a, and a 212, which mm -hmm. are Celestian Creamback uh, medium magnet uh -huh. loaded. Yep. But yeah, it's a 25 watt amplifier. Yeah. Uh, you can get all the spec from our website if you want to. Yep. Links below. Um, it's single channel, but yeah. with three a three position uh, voice switch with like three different gain structures yeah, if you three like. Gain, um, gain, treble, middle, bass, uh, digital reverb built in. Is it the uh, same reverb that's in the DP40? It's the same reverb, reverb, reverb. that's in in the other amps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A master volume, yeah. twenty five watts. So you know, it's a cla it's a small gigging amplifier, great yeah. studio amplifier. Absolutely. Maybe use it at home. Yeah. Um, effect loop. Effect, yeah, effects loop. But no um, foot switch for it or anything like that. Yep. It's just, it's just uh, you just plug the effects loop in and use it if you want to. Yeah. Uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is kind of it. So we're going to take you through. Got a brightness switch, actually, I tell a yeah. light. Um, we've got a Les Paul, a Tele, and a Strat. Yeah. Going to give you some flavors with that. We've got Pete's some pedal board. Yeah. I mean, the idea with this was to make something that was what, what I really liked, but with some extra bits on it, you know, that I thought that some of the other amps like the JTM were missing, like a reverb, yeah. because there's not really many re um, masterly type amps with yeah. a reverb in it. Anyway, I think also as well, it, it looks cool what, as well. <laughs> what inevitably happens yeah. whenever Martin takes on board, uh, you know, conversations with yeah. guitar players, that you get a mix of traditional, you get a mix of what the players talked about, and you always get a mix of Martin's. Yeah. Magic. You know, Martin's yeah. magic. So it's a you know it's it's an amp that has similarities to other amplifiers, but inevitably is also you know yeah. unique as well. Right. Absolutely. So so when were we running it right now? We, we were sort of in, yeah. So we've intentionally set this on its least gainy mm -hmm. mode. Yeah. Pushing the gain control so that if Pete plays softly, it's very clean. Yeah. And if Pete digs in. It's just a little bit dirty. So we're really at the clean end of this. Yeah. And again, if I if we were to change guitar to either the Tele or the Les Paul, yeah. we'd probably find that even on this setting, 
it would be gainier. Yeah. So we're, we're in the clean setting. So let's just go through. And there's I no mean, pedals on no at all? No pedals at all. Nothing okay. at all, so. If I'm strumming it very sort of softly. If I'm doing it hard, it gets a little, little bit of hair on it. Which was difficult to get from the DP40 or the V because you had to, it had to be mm. cranked really loud and it, it's not the same kind of driven sort of front end of it though. Big chords and heavy-handed strumming is yeah. where it's going to break Brings it up. Brings it out, yeah. Uh, so I won't... Um, I'm just going to take it up probably a couple of notches on the gain here. Might compensate with the master. But so now we're going into, again, Pete's going to have to play even softer to keep this clean, but his digs and it'll go even gain. That's right. It's just a little bit more. That was so good. So reactive. There's so much. There's there's so many layers yeah. of sound in there. You know. And I'm rolling down the volume. when you're do doing a double stop is that you can when it's got more going into it you can nice. um, I think it's great and that's the reverb, reverb from the amp right now so so I uh, will we'll, we're gonna Go all over the place here. We're going to get gainier, then softer again, then with pedals, then with different guitars and all kinds of stuff. Sounds like a good evening. But if uh, <laughs> if I just drop it to its middle uh, voice position, yeah. Uh, so unlike other, I would say more on the Duchess stuff where they talk about voices, it is more of a EQ curve thing. Yeah. Uh, on the Deputy, it's very it is very much about gain. A little stages. bit more gain stages, So this yeah. is the middle position one. It's a masterly type thing, but the way that, I mean, the way the Friedman makes martial sounds, mm -hmm. that's how this is, you know, but with something that I prefer in, I just, in the build, but that's just... I, one of the things, in fairness, that we completely <laughs> got out the habit of until I think we got that Friedman oversized kind of 112 in. Yeah. We'd gone over to just using 212s, because it was almost like we we're just yeah. like, oh yeah, 112s just don't have enough bass in. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, all of a sudden, these kind of oversized... Well, I say oversized, you can but, see it's like a sort of a wide bodied. But it's a, this is a new size cabinet as well. So, this, yeah. the, the, the 112 Victory used to be slimmer. So, yeah. as slim as that. And, and I was saying, you know, why don't you make them slightly wider? Because you get more low end coming out of it. And it's the same with at the 2x12 is now, so which means that you can use the bigger heads on top of these as yeah. well before it was a little bit sort of. So, you get much more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, up. I mean, it sounds great, man. <laughs> so so one, some of the features that have retained on the um, cabs is you've got the angled baffle. So the idea is even though the cabinet is kind of straight on, yeah. the, the baffle sits at an angle. So the speaker is projecting upwards Little slightly. Bit, yeah. which, is, um, which makes a difference as well because you get it slightly yeah, up to the ear. Because you really want your cabinet on the floor if you're going to maximize the bass end. Yeah. So I think sometimes when you see people going, oh, I can't really hear my cabinet, so I lift it up and I put it on a beer crate or whatever, yeah. you'd be surprised how much bass end you oh, lose and you by get doing that. And you get the sparks right anyway. in here. And uh, even, so I go to, to, to the cleans up, if I play this softly as well on here. Yeah. 
it's kind of it's it's funny because I feel like it's a little bit like the Dane. I'm not selling this, selling all this stuff mm. that I've built, but it's that kind of thing that if you if you caress it in a way, you know, if you just if you just if you just on the neck and then you got all of that it in one a, amp without having anything on here. It's, it's bizarre to because I think sometimes that's what a Dane does. You're either looking for the boost side of the Dane or you're looking for the Cali 76 compression just yeah, to give you that a little bit extra something. Yeah. But we haven't gone there yet. We haven't so. gone there yet at Interesting. all. Interesting. Okay, so third and final position with mm -hmm. the gain still at 12 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Now it's much more. It's just, but it still does. And you roll it off. Trying to do this Tom Bukovac call where he presses down <laughs> two fingers, oh, two strings with one finger, and then. Yeah, two. So you're playing the, the A and the D string on the second fret with the same finger. How? Yeah, but so not I'm playing. But not I'm even playing. really. You're not doing that thing where you sort of. But it's literally just the pad of the end it's of the finger. It's just the pad of the finger, you just press down. Yeah. So now I'm playing an E minor here. really difficult but he does this thing where he was he talking got about sausage fingers he's got he? massive hands you know <laughs> massive hand he makes me look tiny um so but he does this thing where he goes uh he goes fifth so one five and then an octave up but then he does the same thing uh but so here so he like stacks a fifth and then something he was talking about what's that thing with Brett papa anyway on his channel, YouTube channel, it's fantastic. I, I, go, go I think it's 12 o'clock now, so we just see what everybody says. Oh, the There's ultimate Pete and Ori test. So, and then so, back on to voice first one. Yeah, yeah, please. So that's the point is that everything at 12 o'clock with the switches yeah. in, in up position, it's just... And it's got that reverb, which just sounds really, really nice with it. It's just, it's, it's, it's fly, fly through some other guitars, yeah. and then we'll yeah. visit the pedal board at the end. Let's, let's so see. It's a simple amplifier, this. So yeah. if it feels like, you know, this this demo could be a two minute demo, but we're just going to try and with yeah. some different guitars now. Um. And it can even if I play softly on the. It's humbuggers, but it's slightly. Can you roll, roll off a little bit of volume on that neck. So this is where the, the bright switch comes in when you got them. Plenty of gain, plenty of gain. That's tremendous. On, yeah. That's voice one. Yeah. So you want me to go to voice <laughs> yeah, two? Yeah, do it. Then the Gibson tuning there. But we'll uh, sort that out. <laughs> so, so there's plenty of gain. But again, just I'll just tune up here. It, again, if I just wow. play it, play it quite softly. Thank you. 
So it takes those kind of, um, this is not in the effects loop, that's just straight in the front, which is really important for me because I like effects. You're an in the front kind of guy. Yeah, but you? it's got the effects loop if you want it, and I'm in the front kind of guy. <laughs> it's only on special occasions. <laughs> Voice three. <laughs> I mean, it's it's so unlike me to just go, yeah, that's, let's do an amp with so much gain in it, or do anything with that much gain in it, but it's got more gain than that, because the gain is only on 12 o'clock, so, you know, and it's, again, and again, and again, do you want to do full gain? Turn the, turn the reverb off, just okay. all the way down. It's like it just yeah. turns into a beast bed, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? And um, then if you leave it at that setting, you know, like say, go to voice three and then leave it at, not, not all the way up there, just in, in the middle again. Yeah. So if we go, if we just go like this and we had, we got the Les Paul on the back pickup and without the Halcyon on. And then we go like Telecaster, Flipping for instance. Uh, not, not Telecaster, because that's a bit more similar to a Les Paul on the Brits pickup. You know, it's a bit more p potent. Yeah. Uh, let's go Strat. And then, you can try and clean this up, are you? But. Yeah. It's got that super cool. Super cool, Marcelli style. It's like it's so. Yep. You know what I mean? That attack, nice mon that's monstrous okay, attack. so let's put it back to voice one. Let's yeah. go back to the telly. So I'll switch. I'll go. I'll go off. telly. And then now, I think yeah. just take us through some pedal board tones as well, because yeah. that really. I think that <laughs> people who buy single channel amplifiers invariably see them as yeah. sort of pedal platformy kind of vibe things. Yeah. So, but then again, it's still pretty incredible how many different tones you can get from an amp like this you plug just straight by, into it by changing having a, guitar. a different guitar and that's why kids you should playing. buy more guitars <laughs> <laughs> but you should also it's a buy conspiracy a, it is a conspiracy no i think it's it's a great testament to uh the you know martin and me talking back and forth about a gazillion times mm -hmm. uh that we actually achieved what we both sort of wanted and you know you've always said when we said with the dane was we worked on it and worked on it till it was Till it was good enough for something you would use, because otherwise there's no point in having, you know, in working with something, and then going, oh, that's something I've worked on, but I'd never use it. It's, it's, it's always it's so important, you know, that it's right. It doesn't. Yeah. It's not it's, a signal. So it's just a collaboration. You know, it, thing, but it always you know. amazes me. Projects, and I think you know. I love these projects. I've I been involved this. in lots of projects to do, sometimes to do with like Anderton's IT projects, mm -hmm. and you know, or. or Chapman or Victory or do you whatever. Do Andersons as well? I've heard no, of you. No. No. Okay. That's a, uh, <laughs> it's a vicious rumour. Um, but like you get, it's amazing, you get this false sense of, because you normally you get like 90% of the way there yeah. quite quickly. Yeah, yeah. So you get this false sense like, oh, that was it. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like the last 10% yeah. is like... It's twiddly twiddly. Yeah, so I, tiny I mean, little the, it feels things. to me like the last 10% of this has been like a year. And it's like taken the, long, the, man. The first the first ninety percent was probably like three months. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, and then it's anyway. just fiddly, fiddly, fiddly right. stuff all the time. So, um, <laughs> put just a reverb on top of it. So you got the flint sort of a, a, a spring reverb on top. It sounds great. And put a bit more of that on. So 
sounds great with the reverb on yeah. top of it and then a bit of tremolo. <laughs> This just sounds great. You can put the delay right in front. A little bit of Cali 76 just to... It just sounds really good, doesn't it? Um, Dane it? Protein? Dane, just I mean, a, whatever. Yeah. I believe it's just good. Dane's this middle sort of cleanish kind of overdrive in top. <laughs> Does have a lot of gain. I would probably take the gain down. Yeah, so you're right. Yeah, we, so we were sort of back here. Yeah. And then do that, maybe yeah. something like that. Back. And again, the, the, the solely. Is that, what, you've got the Dane on there. I've right? got a Dane yeah, on, yeah. but and again, so if I play softly. So that works really well. Uh, that was Tune a Cali 76. Two screens. That's the uh, you can have some protein green. Uh, with some uh, ER2. Uh, lots of Mother. sounds, and you can go. Oh, hang on, these boots are so big. Um, stunk box. <laughs> So, I mean, lots and lots of different sounds, and it takes pedals really well, it sounds great on its own, and, you know, I'm really pleased with how it turned yeah, out. Martin no, did a great job. And it looks cute, right? So, looks cute! Um, cute! Handmade, in England, all valve, 13.49 for the head, uh, that's UK money, including VAT. Yeah. Obviously, there are victory dealers all around the world, so you'll have to go see what one costs more locally to you. Uh, yeah, uh, and then there's two cabs. There's a the, the wide-bodied 112, yeah. cream back loaded, yeah. and then there's a basically a same with that. Yeah, that shape 2 by 12 cream yeah. back loaded again, but uh -huh. obviously in the matching colours. Did we talk about the tubes? Hey Martin, uh, I've just done the the video with Pete on the deputy, and I noticed that we've got EL 86s in the output stage rather than EL 84s, and I'm not familiar with the 86. So could you just give us a bit of background as to why you chose to put um, 86s in the amp? Well, our supplier is quite quite interesting. He he um is uh, got an encyclopedic knowledge, and he sent us some, and said. Um, Give these a go. See what you think. And uh, but there, you know, there were NOS new old stock valves. Um, he said we got thousands upon thousands of these things. And you know, give them a go. See what you think. And so I did. And um, we, you know, they've got their sort of nineteen seventies, possibly nineteen eighties build quality. Um, and we actually like the sound a little bit better. So we we went with them. So you've got you know a bit of 
a bit of that nice quality in there. If the if someone was concerned that perhaps locally they weren't able to find EL eighty sixes. I mean, I know I know you said there's thousands of them, and I noticed that you can buy replacement sets from the Victory website. But yes. uh, if you just can't get them, or one day, fifty years in the future, we've run out. Um, it will just work on an, an EL84 and sound, what, 99% the same? It will indeed, yes. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You just tweak the bias. You you might need to bump the mids up a notch or something like, you know, something right. like that. There, there, there's different differences, very subtle. All right. But, yes, you can indeed do that, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, man, well, thanks for that. Um, looking forward to seeing you at the NAM show next week. In fact, by the time yeah. this video comes out, I imagine we'll be there together. So, yeah, travel safe, Wonderful. man. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Yeah, take care. Cheers, Bye. Lee. There you are. Not wow. much else to really tell you about this. If you are interested, dive on over to the Anderson's website or wherever you buy your guitar stuff from. Absolutely. And uh, find out more. But thank you so much. Well, thank uh, you. Well done. It sounds well done great. you. Yeah, well done, Martin. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye.